So let's talk data engineering pipelines. It's fun to build pipelines, wrangling data, making sense of the chaos, but man, it can be slow sometimes, right? You know how web developers write a bit of code, it refresh and bam, instant feedback with HTML and JavaScript. Data pipelines, not always like that. We are jungling between multiple tools, complex SQL, Python, maybe Spark, maybe DBT, and it all depends on the data sitting somewhere, so database, a data lake, and often you feel like you're waiting age just to see if your latest change actually worked. So that feedback loop when developing, <laughs> yeah, it's a nightmare. What if I told you that there is something buzzing in the AI world that might help us speed things up? You may have heard whispers about the model context protocol or MCP. I know it sounds fancy, but could it actually make our data lives easier? So first let's understand the data engineering workflow. You see this every single step needs data. You cannot just guess. Trying to mock realistic data is a nightmare. Even just getting the data in, like converting CSV to parquet, you have to look at the data. You know that column that looks like a boolean? Well, surprise, I've done, it's got some random strings. So the only way around it is basically query the data source, look at the data, test your assumptions, and yeah, no magic, just work, uh, which takes time. But now we have tools like GitHub Copilot and Cursor, and those AI assistants are helping us write code faster. You write a prompt, AI splits the code, and you test it. But that workflow is still not perfect when dealing with data. The AI doesn't always know your specific database schema or the weird edge case in your data. So this is where MCP enters the chat. It's a newish open protocol Think of it of a special API layer or a translator for large language models. It lets our AI coding buddies like Cursor, Copilot, Clothes actually talk to other tools, would it be a databases, code repos, API, you name it. So Untropic kicked it off in 2024 and tools like Zed, Replit jumped on board quickly. It basically set up a secure little connection between your AI tool, the host, maybe your IDE like VS Code or Cursor and the thing it needs to talk to the server like a database connection in our case. So instead of just guessing about your data in our case, the AI guided by you or maybe even an agent can actually ask the database question, which have all multiple trial and errors when generating code for data pipeline. Now things are still evolving. GitHub is doing Copilot apps, Google is talking agent to agent stuff, but MCP looks like it's a really solid foundation for this agent communication. And there is a growing list on MCP server that you can check out on mcp.so. So enough talk, let's see it in action. How can MCP actually help us build a data pipeline faster? The stack we are gonna use is DuckDB, it's also work with Motherduck, so it's cloud sibling and dbt for modeling. For the setup, you need an IDE that speaks MCP. I'm using cursor here and you need the right MCP server for your tool. Luckily, the Motherduck team has built one for DuckDB. So setting it up in cursor is actually pretty easy. Uh, you basically just tell CDOT how to run the MCP server. Don't worry, I'll link the details and the JSON config below. And this little server uh, lets Cursor directly run SQL against your local DuckDB file or your Motherduck cloud database. So AI works way better with context and in Cursor you can add also a documentation source. You can just point it at the official DuckDB and Motherduck documentation. But guess what? Both DuckDB and Motherduck support this cool new LLMs.txt and NLMsFool.txt, which is a new standard to help AI tools grab the latest uh, you know, information on the web into a proper format. So you can actually those URLs directly into a cursor and a, your AI is gonna get way smarter about writing DuckDB specific code. A side note, if you are not using cursor and your documentation website is not providing an NLMs.txt, you can use a repo mix, which is basically repackaging a code base into AI friendly formats. And you can go over, you know, the open source documentation 
and basically pass this link and you will get, you know, a uh, markdown format, easy to ingest to your AI. All right, the setup is done. Let's cook. I've got a prompt here, which is pretty extensive uh, for cursor. Basically, I want to analyze data tool trends using GitHub data, Stack Overflow survey results. Most of the data are sitting on AWS S3 and Acker News data also on AWS S3. I told it where the data is, mentioned the MCP server, MCP server mother doc, and give it my project path and said that the goal is to build some DBT models. I didn't give it the exact model I want because, you know, it needs to explore the data first. That's the whole process when writing data pipeline. So now you might start to understand why DuckDB is a really good fit as an MCP because it can read to various file formats, would it be Parquet, Iceberg, sitting on AWS S3, Azure Blob Storage, and it runs in process. So it's having it through to MCP, makes a really nice Swiss army knife for your AI to connect to various data source, read the data, and get the context. So now when passing the prompt, you see that now he's gonna use basically the MCP server. He knows that he can query over S3 thanks to DuckDB. So it suggests running a query like a describe or a select something limit five. So the MCP is gonna run the query against S3 here using DuckDB and the result, the schema or a sample of data is gonna go straight back to the AI. So here sometimes uh, the AI is trying to be clever <laughs> and guess the schema instead of asking. So since our data here is in Parquet, you know, getting the schema is super fast with DuckDB. You just tell the AI in your prompt before you write any fancy queries for Parquet files, run a describe uh, select from read Parquet using the MCP first. And that would avoid more trial and error process where it runs and try again. So you start to understand that once the AI get the schema and other sample of data, it can generate much better code. And after a bit back and forth, with actually the same prompt interaction, maybe asking uh, it to refine a few things, uh, it can generate the DBT models I need. A staging models for Acker News data Data, and it could even test parts of its logic using MCP while generating it. So the big takeaway here is that MCP is really nice for making data pipelines development less painful by letting our AI assistant talks directly to our data tools like DuckDB. Some key things to remember if you try this. First, give your AI good context. So tell it about your docs, specify the MCP server you want him to use, your project setup, use the lnms.txt source, etc. Second, the schema first. Make the AI check the schema with the describe command, for example, or others before it does any transformation. MCP and this whole AI agent world are still young and changing really fast, but the potential for data engineering is definitely interesting. You can try it out, the DuckDB MCP by Motherdog by yourself. Until the next one, keep quacking and keep coding. <laughs>